Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of RV Tips and Trips. Today I'm going to show you how to repair the Atwood 3 burner stove. Um, these uh, burners tend to fall apart with all the vibration that takes place and I'm going to show you how to remove them and fix them. This burner is now working, and the reason is because this is all falling apart. So we're going to fix this. I had the same thing happen to that burner back there. So, uh, first step will be to take off the cover, which is easy. Take off the grill, just pulls up. Now to remove the top cover. You push back, and it's easier if you actually grab it from here. Push back, and then lift up. And that reveals the burners. All right, and this was just laying in there. So there should be a screw rolling around in here somewhere. So this can happen because as you're driving down the road, it gets real bumpy. And wow, this all, a lot of carbon there. So I'm gonna clean that up. Let's see if we can find the screw. There it is, I found the screw. Put that there. All right, and this is just going to require a Phillips screwdriver. Let's take this off. This really needs to be cleaned out, and there's a brush kit that you can get. I don't happen to have one right at the moment, so. so there's that. So we're going to put this. Back in the way it belongs. There's a little nub that, uh, it's like a keyway. Screw in. That's nice and tight. Yeah, see this top piece here was kind of flopsy because that screw wasn't holding it in place there. Alright, tighten the other one. There's two screws that hold this top piece together. Alright. Put this back in. Line that up with the jet. Now you can get a closer look. That's how it should be sitting. All right, let's test it and see how it works. Looks good. All right, 
So it's fixed. All I just do is put this bad boy back together. You can see there's uh, slots here and then there's tabs there. So those tabs go into these slots. Just like that. Push back. And it's back in place. And there you have it. Easy fix. But this would be a, a pretty common problem. All the vibration, these screws eventually uh, vibrate loose. So uh, if you haven't had it happen yet, it will. All right, so I've fixed these a couple of times and uh, what I have found is that with traveling, they loosen up again and fall apart. So uh, I came up with a permanent solution for that. And that is to, instead of screwing, back, screwing them back together, we're going to rivet them back together. And I think that ends up being a much better fix than trying to put the screws back and tightening them down because the metal is soft and they strip easy, so. All right, so the holes are a little, let's see here. Right here. The hole where the, the screw went in is just a wee bit too small for the rivet, so I can't get that in. So I'm going to enlarge the hole here and on the burner itself. Hopefully this all works. This, otherwise I'm going to have to replace the burner, but it keeps coming apart. The screw thing is stripped, so I'm going to drill this out. Just a little bit there, whoops. And then the same thing here. All right, so it's gonna go like that. Load the rivet in the gun. All right, so hopefully this works. <clears throat> That's on there snug. All right, so that uh, worked perfectly. This is in firm. The burn at the top is on tight. So I think we got it fixed. Uh, rivets. Definitely, I think, in a lot of cases, work better than screws. Uh, this looks good. So it's nice and tight. So that worked. Hopefully that's the last time this burner falls apart. Thomas says, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share. Until next time, happy camping.